In this video, we're going to have a look at how to solve simultaneous equations using a technique of substitution. Now, substitution just means putting one thing in place of another. And you would use this technique if at least one of your equations has a single letter subject. Okay, so let's have a look at an example here. We've got two equations given to us. You can solve an equation when you have two variables, like x and y if you just have the one equation. But with two equations, with two clues, as it were, the problem is easier to solve. Now, let's see what we can do. Um, now, obviously, y is equal to y. So if the left-hand sides of our two equations are equal, then it must follow that the right-hand sides of our two equations are equal. So all you need to do is construct a new equation, just equaling the right-hand sides, and say 3x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 8. Now, if I take all the x's over to this side, if I take 2x away from both sides, I end up with 3x minus 5 on the left-hand side, and they cancel out, leaving me with 8 on the right. Add 5 to both sides, I end up then with x being equal to 13. Now once you know what x is, then all you do is you take that fact and sub it into either one of these two equations. So it doesn't really matter which one we go for. If I just go for the second one, we'll say y is equal to 2x plus 8, then that's just going to be two lots of 13 plus 8. So it's 26 plus 8, which gives us an answer of 34. Okay, now you can check to see if that is actually the case uh, with either of these equations. Um, so we've checked that it's a case with the second one. Let's check and see that it works with the first one. So 3 times x, 3 thirteens is 39, minus 5 is 34. So your, two, your solution is x equals 13 and y equals 34. Make sure that you have that clearly written down. And remember, the x and the y here, that's the coordinate at which these two lines cross. That's where the two lines are in the same place at the same time. Now this example is different. The, part, the last one we looked at, both equations had a subject of y. In this example, only one of them has a subject, uh, which is a single letter. But again, take your single subject and just say, well, y is equal to y. Now, if y is equal to y, then that must mean that because y is equal to 3x minus 17, then I can just replace this y here with 3x minus 17. And that then gives me what I want, an equation which has only one variable. So if I take this equation here, and instead of writing 3x minus 2y, if I write 3x minus 2 lots of 3x minus 17, because I know that y is equal to 3x minus 17 because of what this equation tells me. So 3x minus 2y, or 2 lots of 3x minus 17, that's equal to 19. Tidy it up. On the left-hand side, we end up with 3x minus 6x. Negative times a negative gives you plus 34, and that's equal to 19. So that leaves me with uh, negative 3x plus 34. Oops plus 34 equals 19. Now, what do I need to do? I need to take 34 away from both sides. So that leaves me with negative 3x being equal to negative 15. And if I multiply both sides by negative 1, that gives me positive 3x is positive 15. So x must be just 5. And that's not me finished, because I have to also state what y is equal to. So the easiest equation to use is obviously the one that's already got y as its subject. So we say y equals not 3x, but 3 times 5, because I know that x is 5. And then we take away our 17. So we end up with 15 minus 17, which gives me a value for y of negative 2. So that's your solution. So that's how you solve simultaneous equations. So see if you can tackle these two questions yourselves and check back to see if you get the correct solutions. Just pause the video, have a go, and then come back and see 
are you gonna so let's look at the first one here now obviously y is equal to y so if our left hand sides are equal then our right hand sides must be equal to each other as well so we'll start off by saying x minus 7 has to be equal to 5 minus x now if I want letters on one side numbers on the other what I might do is add x to both sides they cancel out I end up with 2x minus 7 on the left and 5 on the right. If I add 7 to both sides, let's try and draw a 7 a bit better, add 7 to both sides, <coughs> we end up with 2x equals 12, so x equals 6. Now if you know that x is 6, then you can just take any of the two equations, doesn't matter which one, and we say y equals, let's go with the first one, x minus 7, so it becomes 6 minus 7, because you know x is 6, so that gives you a value of y, for y, of negative 1. So x is 6, y is negative 1. So the point at which these two equations would cross would be 6, negative 1. Okay? Let's have a look at the second one now. Now you know that y is equal to x plus 4. So this y in here must be equal to x plus 4. So if we substitute this for this, we get a new equation, which is x minus 2 lots of x plus 4 is equal to negative 11. Okay. Tidy it up, we get x minus 2x minus 8 equals negative 11. So that means that we have negative x minus 8 equals negative 11. And if I add 8 to both sides... we end up with negative x is equal to negative 3. Multiply both sides by negative 1, you get that positive x is positive 3. And now that you know what x is, you can then just use this equation here to find out what y is, because you know that y is x plus 4. So y is just going to be 3 plus 4, which is 7. So make sure that both your solutions are uh, explicitly stated and underlined, and that's how you use the technique of substitution to solve simultaneous equations. So I hope that was helpful.